Hi, this is Tom Reardon, math teacher from Ohio, here to share some math activities and fun facts for Super Bowl 54 for students grades 7 through 12. Some things that you could talk about are the average price of a Super Bowl ticket, 30 second commercial, uh, what the winning team get, what did the losing team get, how many pounds of guacamole, uh, how many, why numbers are referred to as uh, Roman numerals, and then an interesting thing on how the name Super Bowl came about. It was not always called the Super Bowl, by the way. Other fun facts, who has the most Super Bowl wins, and then some things about Super Bowl I. If you'd like this PDF and the activities, uh, this is the website, bit.ly forward slash Super Bowl 54 math. Those are all lowercase, and you can pause this as you need to. One last thing. 1993, Michael Jackson's halftime performance had higher ratings than the game itself. At my website, you'll find a list of all of the games and their scores. Um, and, and it would be interesting to look at the data there and analyze which is the largest score, the smallest score, most total points, least total points, biggest difference, smallest difference, and so on. So the, these will be, uh, you could download this PDF if you want. However, in the activity that I created, uh, I have a program that you can run on either your TI-84 or an activity on your TI-Inspire that has the data automatically in it, so you don't have to take all that time to type the data in. And these are the types of questions that students are able to ask, the largest winning score, smallest winning score, total points, and so on, and even create a box plot. Also, I provide the answer key here for this, uh, not only just the answers, uh, but also how to get them using the, the certain calculators. So for example, here's running that Super Bowl program. And you just run the program and the data is automatically entered, the game number, winning score, losing score. And it goes on to show you what keys to press in order to get the uh, results that you need so that if you're not sure exactly how to use the TI-84 or the Inspire, the Inspire version has one as well, it will show you that too. So I'm hoping this is something you would be able to use. Okay, talking about the scores and maybe have your students predict the final score, who wins and what the final score is. Very difficult though, I'm sure. To show you how easy it is to get the data into the calculators, I uh, have an 84 here. I'll go ahead and look at the uh, list, stat, edit, and you can see that all the lists are empty. I'll go back to the home screen and go to program and go to the program called Super Bowl 54. Run it. Puts the scores of the first 53 games in. And now when you go to stat edit, there's all the data. 35-10 was the first score, 33-14 the second, and if you want to see the last, most recent, last year's was 13-3. to three. And now you're able to analyze the data and not have to spend any time typing it in. Again, here's the website that has all this information, bit.ly forward slash Super Bowl 54 math, all lowercase. And what does that look like? So when you go to the website, um, it, there's one column for the 84, one for the Inspire. It's got the fun facts, uh, PDF, the student activity, the teacher score solutions, and then the Super Bowl T84 file that you can download right to your students' calculators. Uh, also a list of all the scores of the first 53 and a blog of those scores activity. And soon I'm going to have a video, which I'm making right now, of that scores activity. In fact, let me take you to the blog. And you can see here the blog has a link to the materials, has, shows you P the PDF of the student page, and then the teacher notes and solutions so that you can see them without having to download them first. I hope you found this video worthwhile and enjoy the game.